this was another uh, interesting clutch. And this was another example of where identifying some of these genes can be pretty tricky. The male that I used in this clutch, well, I had previously, I had him labeled, and you guys probably saw pictures of him, but I had him labeled as a super orange dream, fire, enchi, leopard, pie. Now he did prove out to have all of those genes. He also proved out to be yellow belly. And at the time, now I'm looking at him and, and, and I'm like, yeah, I see it. At the time, I thought he was the one without yellow belly and his brother was the one with yellow belly. But now I realize that he has yellow belly and a brother is also passed out. And when you start stacking all of those genes and you start producing those super orange dream, yellow belly, enchi, fire, leopard, pied, and you get pastel in there, it's not what you expect. Um, so I'm pretty sure that other male is gonna prove out to have pastel. So he's actually gonna end up being a super orange dream, yellow belly, enchi, Firefly leopard pie, and you guys will see pictures in this video. But let's look at this clutch. So, this is clutch number four. How do I know he's yellow belly? Obviously, I got some ivory pies in the mix. So, I bred that guy, Super Orange Dream, uh, Enchi, Fire, Leopard Pie. Didn't know he was yellow belly. And I bred him to a high intensity orange dream yellow belly enchi het pied female. And I was surprised to see the ivories. Um, and then as soon as I saw the ivories, I circled back and, and realized that he's also yellow belly. So I mean, he's more of a powerhouse, but man, some of this stuff is tricky. And that's, that's why I emphasize the importance of understanding a theoretical ID versus a definitive ID because it's tricky, man. We all make mistakes. Um, some guys won't admit it, um, but we all make mistakes because um, a lot of it is just guesswork. So let's go through this clutch. This clutch has the potential to produce Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi, and of course it's Super Yellow Belly. So this is, a this is I think this one here is a, uh, potentially a, a triple Super. So you can see the head, and you can see that it definitely has uh, uh, Enchi. Everything in here is orange dream, has at a minimum, it's a single gene orange dream. Looking at how orange these highlights are coming in, I suspect that this one may be a super orange dream, super Enchi, um, leopard pie, and potentially with fire too. see what the sex is on this one this is a male this is a really powerful male to play around with um, you put this guy on an orange cream pie and man it's no telling what's gonna pop out but I guarantee you it's gonna be some cool stuff so here's another ivory and and you can look at the head on this one so I don't believe this one has leopard, um, and I don't believe it has enchi. I believe this is an ivory pie. You can see the broken up yellow stripe on top. Typically on ivories, it's a pretty uniform yellow um, stripe. But if you look, you can see how it's broken up. That's from the pie. So I would label this snake as an orange stream um, ivory pie. I don't believe it has Enchi in it. It could be fire, and it could possibly be leopard too. Let's see what the sex is on this one. And this is how we sex. We just support the spine and just apply pressure right there. It's a female. Okay, next up. Let's see what this third ivory is. Again, I'm not seeing uh, this one looks enchi. You see how that head pinches in? It's definitely not super enchi, but it looks enchi. A little blood there. 
So I believe this is Enchi. I believe this is an Orange Dream Enchi Ivory Pied. And again, you see the yellow, how it's broken up. The pattern is disrupted. That's indicative of Ivory Pied. This is also possible fire. I just can't. There's no way for me to tell the fire. It's a male. This is a favorite. A lot of people like this one. So the snake here, um, I see Enchi, I see Orange Dream, um, I see Leopard. Uh, I don't know that I see, I see Yellow Belly, I don't see Fire. So this one, um, Possibly super enchi, but I'm gonna say this is an orange dream yellow belly enchi leopard pie. That's my guess on this one. Could be super uh, enchi. I don't believe it's super orange dream. Definitely has enchi and leopard in the mix. That's a pretty cool snake. It's a female. This one's still available. Next up, it's an orange dream fire leopard. Uh, might be yellow belly. I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna say orange dream fire leopard uh, with Enchi. So orange dream fire Enchi leopard. Male. 100% head pied. Cool snake. Looks weird. All right, these are pretty cool. Let's do this one first. So this one, I think this one might be the double super. Um, you see the elongated head, uh, the crazy head stamp. That's, you know, from the Enchi and the uh, Leopard kicking in. But I suspect that this is, and, and you won't know for sure until you breed this snake. Um, but I believe this is a Super Orange Dream. Uh, definitely has a single dose of Enchi in it. And I suspect a double dose. So it could be Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi. It has fire and it has yellow belly. And you can see how clean it is and that lighter coloration is indicative of the fire too. Um, and Enchi's typically, Enchi's are, are low white, but when you start stacking Orange Dream and Yellow Belly and fire onto these animals, uh, they, the, especially the fire pides, they counteract the Enchi pides. I find that fire pides are typically high white. Um, so when you stack fire and enchi onto the pie, typically you get you can get like a mid-white um, or a high-white uh, enchi pie. And I know people question that, but I've proven it out um, through breeding trials. So it's not just a, a theory on my part. That's a male. This guy's already sold. I sold him last night. So um, yeah. So congrats to the buyer. Um, Sorry to the rest of you guys. <laughs> That's a powerful snake. You can do some cool stuff with that. This one here has me a little bit stumped. Uh, I mean, look at, dude, look at look at that crazy head stamp. It's freaking insane. It's nuts. All right. So my guess on this one, um, I believe this one is a super orange dream. I, I don't believe it has yellow belly. Um, it, it has leopard and that head tells me it has enchi, but it's weird because typically the black in the enchi's turns like a purple. So it's weird that this snake is not showing that purple enchi coloration. I'll give you an example. Like here, and I know we talked about this previously with the hypopides, but you see that black? It's not, it's not like high contrast black. 
that's from the, the orange dream and the enchi, you know, coming together. Here it's pure black, you know, but it kind of has that enchi head stamp, but it doesn't have that telltale enchi coloration in the saddles. So this one, this one, I would label this one as a super orange dream fire leopard pie, believe it or not. And I mean, it might have enchi in it. Uh, you know, the, the thing is with these animals, you you start to look for specific characteristics. For instance, the first orange dreams were banded. So initially when I was describing orange dream to people, I told them that it was a banded snake. It was banded, had orange, that intensified as you go down um, the body towards the tail. It becomes more and more orange. And then I also pointed out the train tracks uh, along the bed, the belly, the pied like markers in the orange dream. Those were the markers. But eventually the orange dreams, I started to produce orange dreams with a lot of pattern. So the banded, the first orange dream female was reduced and she was a banded female. As a matter of fact, when Ian gave her to me, he gave her to me as a fancy, he was like, I'm gonna throw in a free banded female. And he pulled her out of his, uh, he used to get like thousands of uh, ball pythons in from Africa. And he would get 2,000 ball pythons and the guys in Africa would separate the fancy ones and there'll be like a, a pile of a hundred fancy ones. And within those fancies, you would find, at the time we didn't know what the yellow belly was, but you would find yellow bellies. We didn't know that the yellow belly produced the ivory. You would find black pastels at the time. We didn't know black pastels produced, uh, uh, you know, an all black pattern with snake. So he grabbed a banded female from that. I had spent like $7,500 with him. And he grabbed a banded female and was like, dude, I'm gonna throw this one in for free out of my fancy, you know, because I spent a lot of money with him. And that female, she was in shed, right out of the egg. I mean, she was probably a week out of the egg. Got her home, she shed. She was definitely reduced. I didn't notice a whole lot. Orange dreams tend to, they tend to color up after a meal or two. So she shed, started to feed her, and that's when I started to notice there's something different about this. This is not a typical banded female. Um, so that's the thing. You gotta take all of these IDs with a grain of salt. This snake could be Enchi. This snake could be super Enchi. I don't know. I mean, and maybe that Enchi uh, uh, coloration is influenced by the yellow belly, but I don't suspect that this is yellow belly. Again, I could be wrong. I was wrong about the sire. Um, but yeah, that's what I would label this snake as. Pretty cool snake. I love the head stamp and the marker on the nose. All right, so we're gonna share some pictures of the parents um, and you guys can see how I got confused uh, and you can see a real life example of where a theoretical ID may not be spot on. It's pretty accurate, but I wasn't spot on. Thank you.